the wider one is the lambda, the smaller one is the chip. Inside there's a vein. The vein, whenever you pull those every 120 hours, you want to pull those out. Make sure that they're clean, there's no broken fin. There's a narrow part. Part goes on the side. Vein. Vein. Vein element. Vein, the pump. Small goes for the pump. Correct. And they're both the same to me. So they're both the earth, the smaller part, off side. Always. Because it will actually fit this way. But your weight's going to be nasty. So that's just to balance out the flow as it comes up. So you want to make sure they're this way. Okay. Then you get your nozzle. Oh. The right way. Okay, so this goes here, the latches here, front and back. Okay, so when you're tightening those screws here, do not use a ratchet. This is a nut driver, you don't get down. Because if you use a ratchet, Depend. You will put so much force. What's up with that? 13 millimeter, 13. So if you use a ratchet, you will actually bend the screw here, and you're either going to break the screw or break the ears. Then, if that does happen, you have to pull everything out to replace it. Okay. Not a fun job. Avoid that. Do it at all costs. Okay, so this is your lambda. This is the chip wave. So that is your chip. So basically we're pumping and it's coming uh, out of here. This gate is a floater. So when you pull this up, you want to make sure that the inside here is clean. So inside of this area here is clean and that's pretty much it. And that'll go on. Both ways too. No, no, it won't. So, two bolts. Okay. One bolt. So that's how they go together. And they will be sitting side by side. This guy goes in this way. So, basically, once you're done, it's going to look something like this. Right? So that's inside of your uh, solder block. There's also a adjustment on this guy here to actually get the nut driver. So this is the adjustment for your back gate. Okay. So the same as on the, this one. And in the, inside the, the skirt of the tunnel, on the front end, there's a little plate that you can move to access this wall that's up there. With the pot up? Yes. Okay. And I will show you once we do the leveling and the F and everything else. Okay. Okay, the pumps on those ones are both the same. So the impeller are the same on both pumps. On this one, you've got a big one, you've got a small one. The small one goes for the chip, the big one goes for the uh, band up. Okay, so it doesn't matter which pump you use on either this side. This one does not matter. Okay. But the secret with the pump is actually is when you put them in. See those uh, rings here? So you, so you need to make sure that they sit in all the way down like so. Right. If you're sitting like this, Hang on. it's not going to push the full wave. So you will have on the surface here, you, uh, you will have a lot of ripple because you're not seated properly. Okay. So as soon as you seat it all the way down, it should pressurize evenly. Okay. And when they're in correctly, what I normally what I normally do is the pump's gonna be uh, sitting at like this, and they're gonna be side by side. I take a step back and I look for them to be straight. So they're kind of leaning this way. It ain't good. So you want them to be straight. Yep. And you. You can actually put a level on top here and it should be flat. Okay. We're going to put it back in there now. 